There has been a lot of conversations about the issues Halo Infinite has had ever since it was released last year. Whether it's the lack of a battle royale, no forge, a practically non-working custom game section, store prices, or the issues with big team battle at launch, there has been multiple topics for fans to have, um, let's call it feedback on. And finally, after six months of little content and a lack of a roadmap for nearly all of it, we got our first real update with Season 2. It came out just recently and there has been more issues players have found with the game as of the update. This includes 343 nerfing the drop slide, removing multiplayer jumps, and removing campaign speedrunning techniques. Now the easy thing to say would be that if all these issues were changed or fixed, that is what Halo Infinite needs to be successful. Although it would likely help, these fixes won't help with the future of the game only the current state, and actually the day of recording this, they put out a blog post saying that they're going to revert most of these changes and they found the issue with the gun jam. I think the change that will actually help Halo Infinite now and into the future would be a player test realm, or PTR. A PTR would reduce, if not completely eliminate, the surprise gameplay mechanic changes, such as the drop slide nerf. This could potentially not only remove the mechanic change altogether, it would eliminate the time it takes for the developers to test and discuss the idea of going back to the original gameplay mechanics. Players could also find any bugs that hinder basic gameplay before the update gets implemented. Let's say for example, a gun jam bug? Not only would it make the game better, 343 could earn the trust of the players. They could show us that they truly listen to the players and care how we feel about the game. A PTR would also help test new game types. 343 could get a massive sample size of players trying game types before they actually get implemented into the game, so that the game type that does get added is as good as it can be at the time of release. Although this isn't as impactful to the game as the previous two points, having players have an advanced look at new armor and how pieces of armor could interact with each other could help eliminate any glitches and issues that some pieces have together. 343 have mentioned that they will be looking into cross-core armor customization. A PTR would help allow players to test the way armor of different cores mesh together. This way, playtesters don't have to try every single combination. If you release this to the fans and the players, they'll try it for you. New challenges could also be tested to truly see how long each would take and how viable some can be. Challenge difficulty can vary from player to player based on skill, but having players test these can eliminate the challenges that take a player 45 minutes or that rely on other players, such as getting killjoys. Players would also be able to anticipate when they can expect challenges to complete as well. The last man standing game mode, for example, doesn't add to your challenges until the game is finished. This means that if you get eliminated early, you won't see the progress you made in that match when you leave. A PTR wouldn't be too helpful with maps because it's not like the developers are going to completely change the flow of a map based on a portion of the player's feedback. Players could, however, help with any small bugs that a map may have, as well as player and weapon spawns. This could also help the competitive crowd. Players could get an advanced look into maps that may be coming to the rotation and could give their input into the competitive settings that are applied to that map. We will be getting a beta with Forge later this year, so this doesn't relate to the initial release, but for Forge post-launch, a PTR would help with any changes that would come to Forge or any additions to the available sandbox. A PTR would help with feedback on new features that could be added, such as a veto system or a custom games browser, which... I would kind of like either of those. I miss the veto system from Halo 3, and this would help with the challenge system as well, as some challenges require you to use certain game modes, and even some maps might be able to help you get to different challenges quicker than other maps. Also a custom games browser like MCC would just be amazing. There's no reason why a custom games browser shouldn't be in Halo Infinite. Players would be able to give feedback on any UI design of the new feature, as well as how well the feature actually works.
Knowledge of bugs before the launch of an update would be great for the developers to either get a head start on fixing the bug, or being able to fix them completely before release. I guarantee they do this already because they wouldn't be a good company if they didn't, but being able to push an update to a player base would be able to help you find bugs quicker as well. One small example is that when you finish challenges, the icon to view more challenges isn't there, but you can still press Y or whatever key it is for mouse and keyboard to view the upcoming challenges even if there aren't any. Yes, like I said, this isn't a top priority example, but this is just a small example and I imagine it isn't intended. Now, personally, I actually haven't had too many issues with desync, but a PTR would allow players to test any updates that developers may try to help fix the issue. Now, what wouldn't a PTR help with? Store prices can go up and down as seen necessary by developers in the community. Although a PTR could help with overall price distributions, it wouldn't really directly help with any prices. If 343 gave players in the PTR unlimited credits to use on test store prices, this could be helpful, but again, there isn't a massive impact on store prices that a PTR would be able to help with. The low times in Halo Infinite have always irritated me. It's not that it actively affects my gameplay experience, but why does it take so long for my battle pass rank to load? It's just annoying. I could see the reasoning being that the game needs to pull any possible changes from playing on other platforms, but if my Xbox has synced any changes, why does this happen? Again, it's not really important, but it's just annoying. This seems to be more of a core game change that would be needed that I don't think a PTR would actually help with. Now let's talk about probably the most controversial topic of Halo Infinite, a battle royale mode. Although a PTR would be able to help test the game type as I mentioned before, a PTR wouldn't inherently help the decision to develop the mode. Pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to bring it up. A general account progression system would be so nice to have. Once I finished the battle pass for season 1, it was difficult to want to play besides to get my weekly rewards. Much like I mentioned with the battle royale just a second ago, a PTR wouldn't help with this. Player developer discourse is the main way a solid progression system can be developed. Now, I don't know how difficult it would be to develop a PTR, or how capable 343 would be at maintaining additional servers for the PTR, but I think that it would be an awesome addition that would help the overall game. I'm not saying a PTR would make all players happy about all the changes that would be made because we all know that goal is impossible, but it would help with giving player feedback prior initial implementation of an update or change into the game to both save time on the development side, as well as improving the player experience. Most of all, I think a PTR would improve the player-developer relationship, which right now isn't the best to say the least. If you made it all the way through the video, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it and want to see more, please do the subscribe and the whole like thing. Let me know what you think about a Halo Infinite PTR, and if you think if there's anything else that would be more helpful for the game. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.